Hello, my name is Anne, and today I can't be more excited to introduce you to Pixel Experience Android 10 GSI for Samsung Galaxy J7 2016 Stable Edition. And um, it just can't be a better time for me to show it to you after the Stable Bill has been a release. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So, uh, to give you guys a bit of a history, uh, Android 10 GSI has uh, been you know, released for, I guess, like three months now, like two months, but it's very unstable. At that point, it was very, it was so unstable that on this phone, it was barely usable, right? And uh, I just, at that point, I just couldn't share it to you, share it to you, because, you know, no one's going to use it. Uh, but now with the uh, Pixel Experience based on uh, version 204 of AOSP, um, with all with you know almost all with like uh, most of the bugs squashed, um, I decided to share it to you. So I've been using the AOSP 204 build for a few days now, and and then I switched over to this Pixel Experience, which is based on 204. Right, so all the bugs experience it's gonna be the same. Somewhat better. So um, first, let's just kick into all the new Android 10 features. Um, the first, the biggest, the flashiest feature has got to be dark mode. So this is dark theme, right? This is dark theme. Um, everything's dark. It's AMOLED. It's black. Uh, the accent is all black. So it really saves your battery if you're on AMOLED display, right? Uh, let's see it here in. Uh, it's, not, it's not in just in the, in the Play Store as well. It's in, uh, it's in supported apps, right? So it's more system wide than Android 9. Uh, let's see, Gmail app, for example, you know, it's, uh, Gmail is not black, but I can show you things like the photos, right? The photo is completely black, which is really cool, right? And, and, and as I mentioned, you can use the auto dock mode to set the time to, uh, to activate it. You know, you don't have to activate it manually like before. Uh, the second biggest feature is the, is the addition of the navigation gestures. Um, you, we have had them since Android 9, but that was a very half-baked one. It was a very weird and unnatural gestures. Uh, with, uh, with, the, with Android 10, you have essentially a copy of, of iOS gesture navigations. Right? So basically, uh, if you're in an app, like for example in Tumblr right now, you can swipe up to go home. Um, you can swipe up and hold for the multitasking, right? And you can swipe across this bottom, this bottom bar here, to switch between apps, right? Yeah, it's not the best, uh, but it's, it's working really well. Um, it's kind of laggy though, uh, as you've seen on uh, on this video. Uh, and, and it also works without the navigation bar enabled, right? So this is completely empty, there's no bar here, and you can use it like, just fine, you know, no issues. The only gesture that's not working is the back gestures. You can see that if I swipe to the, from the edge here, nothing will happen. Um, you can still use the back button uh, on the, the hardware back button on the J7, and it will still work just fine, you know, include the home button or the recent key, right? And the, uh, the, the, the Google Assistant is also unable to be activated. You can still use the button here, or you can use the, um, the hot word, but you cannot use the gestures to enable that. Uh, you, can, you can enable the nav bar, but I still can't figure out how to, use, how to enable that. Uh, also with Android 10, Google has doubled down on privacy. So every time you go into this, uh, every, uh, to a new app, you will see this, uh, this prompt here. Like um, you can allow its use of location anytime or during its usage. Right? It's more strict, just like iOS does. And if you, uh, you if you're a fan of uh, digital well-being, you'll be happy to. I'm happy to tell you that it's a new feature called focus mode. Which suppose, which supposedly blocks your apps in a like a t in a certain amount of time to keep you focused and uh, keep you being being addicted. There's a focus mode right here. If you go into the digital well-being, there's a focus mode. Uh, 
open here and you can select which app you want to pause like which app you want to block away and you want to completely stay out of your line stay out of your, uh, your way um, like for example let me just um i said just enable a few apps here right yeah so you can see that uh these uh pause pause app will be grayed out and if you enter them um, it will, you'll be greeted with a message that it's been paused, right? And you have to disable the the, the, um, the focus mode by, you know, going to settings again, or you can just disable the, the focus mode and everything will be back to normal. So that's focus mode. Um, now let's talk about the pixel experience features. Um, one of the biggest ones, and I guess this one will be the most it will be the coolest and everyone will, be, will, will enjoy using is pixel style so if you press and hold on the screen here and tap on styles and, and styles and wallpapers you now you still see you will still be greeted with these familiar looking wallpapers but there's a style uh, section where you where you can actually customize a heck out of this uh, thing it's not it's only a, a handful but it's it's really cool right um here you can actually change the font uh the only there are only two fonts uh unfortunately but you know you can still change it you can change the, sh the, the looks of your 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 toggles you know your wi-fi bluetooth uh do not disturb you know you can see those right there right really cool and you can change the accent color now right um, only a few colors, of course, but um, they they cool. You know, yeah, a lot of really nice looking colors. And finally, you can change the icon shape, which is you know has been since has been around since uh, the Oreo day. And uh, to, and as a nice on the cake, there's also pixel wallpapers. Uh, despite the fact that it's static wallpapers and not live wallpapers, so just just keep that in mind. Also, there's uh, always on this always on display, uh, which you still can't interact with, and there's the updated Pixel Launcher with the new addition of pulling down the uh, notification center from swiping down. Right? This is this is the feature that's been on like every launcher now, and uh, the Pixel Launcher is the latest addition. So that's all of the features you'd expect with Android 10 on the J7. Uh, of course, this is not a perfect ROM, they, uh, and there are quite a lot of bugs. Two big ones, uh, essentially. The first two are camera and flashlight. Basically, if you're trying to launch the camera, it's not gonna work, right? It's not gonna work. And the flashlight is completely grayed out. It's completely blocked. You cannot uh, enable the, the flashlight. Um, Whatsoever. Also, the the app YouTube, the YouTube app does not work at all. It kept loading in this uh, continuous loop of hooligany uh, uh, circling icon that just gonna uh, drive you nuts. Uh, you can still circumvent it by using the um, the YouTube version, the web version of YouTube which uh, surprisingly works just fine, right? You can still go here and, you know, still uh, watch videos just fine. Right, it works just fine. Um, but you will also, but you will obviously find a few caveats that will make you miss the YouTube apps. And of course there are essential, there are like, you know, familiar GSI bugs, Bluetooth calls, uh, voiceover LTE, and NFC. Those are obviously not working since the, the get-go. And of course, home button not wake home, home button wake up still is absent. So those, so those are the bugs. There are obviously more like random reboots, but I haven't really encountered encountered them in this ROM, so I'm not gonna talk about that. And uh, of course, I want to touch down on performance and battery life. Um, so far, performance has been 
pretty impressive, especially with RAM management, it's gone better compared to Android 9. I did a little mini speed test, you know, uh, my own speed test with my uh, own phone, and despite the fact that my phone, ha that this phone has uh, less RAM, it still performs on par. And in terms of battery life, Deep Sleep is working just fine, so expect the battery, the battery, life, the battery life to be uh, identical to Android 9. Maybe a slight difference uh, with uh, because due to Android 10, to, due to Android 10 optimizations. So those are all of the Android 10 features. Expect Android. Those are those are the Android 10 on the Galaxy J7 2016. Right? Since it is since this is a GSI, it's available from for all phones, right? For all phones. And if you want to. Uh, be instructed on how to install this these sort of ROMs on your phone. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos on how to install Project Spagit, which is the you know the Project Treble port for the J7 and other Exynos 7870 phones. Now talking about Project Spagit, I'd like to give you a bit of a news, a very exciting news, that uh, Project Spagit 3.0 is about to get updated to Spagit X with um, a lot of bug squash. Uh, with probably the only bugs being Bluetooth calls and the new kernel called Kronos are about to make the scene, right? Uh, the, the ETAs are still uh, a mystery and still far from release. Um, and, th and there's also been um, a dedicated ZIP Android 10 Lineage OS 17 in the works. So be sure to check out my videos and subscribe to uh, be updated on that. So anyways, um, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it much. And uh, if you find this video useful, just hit the like button down below and if you love it, subscribe for more videos like this. And also comment down below to see um, your thoughts on Android 10 um, or anything that, that you want me to do. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.